everybody and welcome back to my channel. We are in the new house, hence how echoey it is right now, but I'm so excited to be able to show you around. This is like the third part in our moving series, I think, and we're just finally like here. So excited to get unpacked, but before we do, I wanted to quickly run around and show you our new house. Christian is behind the camera filming. I've never done a YouTube video where I haven't been sat or holding the camera, so this is really weird. But I'm gonna start off by showing you our new kitchen. So as you walk in through the front door, this is kind of the first room that you're met with. And I think it's just really well done. Like the finishings and stuff are just really, really nice, but kind of like cream cabbage, cab that's a hard word, cabinetry. <laughs> as well as like oven we were really panicked that we didn't have a washing machine or a fridge because as you look around the covers it's not very obvious but we were happy to find out that there's a hidden washing machine because they're super fancy and also a hidden fridge although this is a lot smaller than what we're used to so that's going to be an adjustment but a big selling factor for this house was the outdoor space which i'm going to show you next in okay, case so as did you lock it you locked it how do I it? Safety first. How do I it? Oh, I did it. No, I didn't. <laughs> you want me to do it? Oh, you push outwards. You push out. It's a new house, guys. <laughs> this is the outdoor space. Which is actually pretty big. Like, if you stay in there, or maybe if you go to the other end and I can show you them how big it is. Ta da! Um, but we're really excited to be able to have barbecues out here and put our table and chairs and stuff out here and invite people around. And hopefully in summer we might get a bit of sun out here and I can get a bit of town. But we've also got a bike shed just behind there, which is shared with the apartments next to us, but just means extra storage. Christian has like four bikes, so that was also a big selling factor. So back through the kitchen and into the lounge. New house. My socks came off. So as you come back inside the house, back through the kitchen, immediately to your left, I'm really bad at left some rooms, is our lounge, which isn't the biggest space in the world, but it's super bright. We've got the windows on both sides, so hopefully it will be like like all day, which would be nice, like having light on both sides. But we're gonna have like a sofa in here, our desk, which is gonna be a bit of an issue, not sure how we're gonna fit everything in, but Stay tuned for figuring that out, but really like the wood floors, that's always a big plus for us because we have nice big rugs that we like to put down. And yeah, it's just a really nice living space that I hope you will use a lot. Up the stairs in our little tiny house, they're quite narrow stairs, and the upstairs is carpeted. <laughs> really slow. <laughs> we have the bathroom. Now this is Kind of like the ensuite and the guest bathroom. It's all in one, but it is upstairs. It's very echo in here. But it's got a full bathtub, which as you know, if you saw our house hunting video, was a must. It's a huge, huge bonus for me. We've got heated towel rail, bath, toilet, sink. I don't know what else you need. Turn around. But there's like zero storage in here. Like as you can tell, there's no cupboards or anything. This doesn't like come off. So that's going to be kind of a struggle to be honest so we're going to have to figure out some storage solutions but this then leads to the bedroom oh there's a man outside but yeah it's kind of like the same floor print as the lounge downstairs so again kind of minimal space but definitely bigger than what we're used to especially with like the super high ceilings christian's looking at the floor whilst i'm talking about the ceiling <laughs> super high ceiling and we really like like the curved ceiling it gives it a bit more character be able to have our bed up here, wardrobe, they've got really long curtains, and again, it's just so bright, which we really, really like. The only thing I'm worried about is that it's doing doors, and Christian does stay up later than I do, so I may be getting quite tired, some restless night's sleep, but we'll figure that out. But yeah, that's the house. Little, oh, I forgot to show you secret cupboard. Turn around, zip around. This is like the only storage we have in the house, but <laughs> there you go. Nice little peek into an empty cupboard. But if you want to see how we end up kind of styling this apartment or house or furnishing it, make sure you stay tuned because I will have a video coming up very soon for that. If you have enjoyed this video, please go ahead and hit thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below. 
I hope that I'll see you very soon. Bye. We're about to do some more unpacking. I'll show you what the current carnage looks like. This is so fun to be like vlogging from the kitchen. Is that it? Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to the podcast. You are listening to To Be Candid and I am Amber, your host. Thank you so much for being here and clicking on this podcast. As always, if it is your first episode here, we like to start off with a little life update, which I'm actually very excited for this episode because I actually have something to tell you guys at last. You, you know, usually it's just, you know, not much is going on, still in lockdown because I am kind of pre-recording a few of these episodes I guess before the launch so it's currently the 22nd of January so by the time you're listening to this we may be out of lockdown but even as I'm saying that I'm pretty skeptical that that's going to be a thing but my exciting news is that I finally have a job we're talking a corporate job guys just to give you a bit of backstory I graduated from the University of Greenwich in April 2020 with a events management degree but obviously we were like in the midst of the pandemic like there were no events all the events jobs like disappeared or just didn't exist anymore and so yeah it was a very tough time for me I took it quite hard you can see videos on my youtube channel where I kind of go into depth about it and explain it a bit more but it was a really really tough time I kind of tried to treat it like a summer holiday and just take some time off because obviously it kind of forced me to take a break out of uni and stuff which I think in retrospect was really good for me but also just hard to kind a hard pill to swallow let's put it that way um but yeah so I started working as a nanny which I obviously told you guys about I've been doing that since August and finally I've been applying to jobs since New Year's and I got myself a job a proper corporate job working as an event executive for the Royal Society of Medicine here in London and I am so very excited I start in 10 days so I've got a week off can buy a desk buy a desk chair sort my life out and then I start work so it's definitely going to be a big adjustment but something I'm really excited for like just like a new phase of life I guess starting my career going into the world of work and all of the exciting ups and downs that that brings with it which I'm sure I will keep you posted on I'll take you through the whole process 